let's get the middleweights out here, please. All the middleweights. This beautiful is strength on display. Nailed it. For the world to see. There we go. Bodybuilders owning their moment on stage. But it's not their muscles yeah. that make them strong. Woo. It's their stories. Elite male athletes. Number one, would you like to hit your favorite pose? All born women. Competing in the only transgender competition of its kind right here in Atlanta. Eight bodybuilders, including Kennedy Connors. Good job, Kennedy! I was born as Ashley. Who brought us along yeah. on his journey. Um, honestly, I don't know who who that person is, that person is. Definitely don't know that one. From his past. I see lack of confidence in almost every single photo. Side triceps. To his present. The process of going through this is not easy. I, I will be completely honest with you. Um, if you can imagine yourself going through male puberty and menopause at the exact same time, that's what it feels like on a daily basis. A one-time struggle for Kennedy and his wife, Nikki. Even though we had nights where we went to sleep with him without saying a word because he was just didn't even understand what was going on in his own head she didn't know who i was at one point hell i didn't even know who i was so at some point i had to just stand back and let him go through it next pose so he could find himself and he just always knew that i was there and gonna be there a year ago he had his breasts removed it was harder for me to find out who i was from the inside by spending time with myself than trying to put a label on it. In the months since, go. he spent his time living in the gym, nice. exercising his depression, you got it, you got it, you got it, you got it. fighting his weight, one more, one more, and transforming his body. You got it. But more importantly, <laughs> his mind. Yes, I wasn't going to enter this year's competition. I was going to wait till next year. But I wanted to get out there and just completely do it. And regardless of if I win or if I don't win, it's just the matter of. Hey, look at me, you can do this. So it's just trying to be some type of encouragement. Number one, Kennedy Connor. It was never about taking home a trophy. It was about showing us all who he is and standing proud. In Atlanta, I'm Adam Harding, CBS 46 News.